fellow Wichaparoos. I'm Chad Stanton, and I have another quick tip for you. So recently I've been building some bookcases and now a fireplace mantle for my customers. And the majority of this is built out of plywood, which is great because it takes paint just wonderful. Well, except for the edge grain on plywood. Here, take a look. Because of all these layers on the plywood, well, when the paint gets in it and soaks in, well, it kind of raises the grain, and it just looks nasty. You can put a whole bunch of coats of paint on it, and it's still not going to look all that good. So in the past, what I used to do for that was I would use some edge banding. But on big projects, that can get expensive. So then I was using like wood putty or drywall compound spackle, and that worked, did a great job. You'd have to put a couple of coats on, sand it, uh, but then when it was done, it took the paint and left a nice smooth finish. However, that just seemed kind of slow and messy for me. So, now what I like to use is just some regular glue. And what I'll do is I'll put that glue just on the edge. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not. This has two coats of glue on it. The first coat will raise the grain a little bit so you sand it. Smooth on another coat. And once it's dry, it's perfectly smooth and so then when you add paint to it it comes out fabulous you couldn't ask for a better finish on your plywood now some of you who are paying close attention might notice that this doesn't look like normal plywood in fact the top looks like MDF well you're right and if you have watched any of my old episodes you'll know that I hate working with the MDF the powder is too fine, it's got bad chemicals in it. Most important for me, it doesn't have good holding properties when you put fasteners into it. Not to mention, it's incredibly heavy. So, what this is, this is a combination core. It has 8th inch MDF on the outsides, but veneer core plywood in the center. So it gives it really good holding power when you use fasteners in it. Now, you can't just get this plywood at any big box store, Home Depot or Lowe's. You have to get it from a specialty store. And in my case, I get it from Toledo Plywood. And I've included their website and a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. At any rate, that's how I handle doing the edge grain on plywood when painting to get a nice smooth surface. If you like what you saw today, subscribe to us and leave a comment. And stay tuned for future and more episodes of Wood Chopping Time. Until then, I gotta get building.